Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks and in this video we will be learning how to create a simple splash screen for your app in Flutter. So first of all if I just show you a simple example of what is a splash screen, you can see that whenever I open any app, let's say I open YouTube, you will be able to see this YouTube icon with a complete white screen and after a gap of like 1.5 seconds then the main YouTube appears. Right, you can also observe it in this play movies. So whenever I open it, you can see that a simple splash a splash screen of this icon and Google Play and then my movies app will be running. So this is a simple splash screen and the duration of uh, how much time you want to show your splash screen depends upon you and we will be seeing this in this tutorial. So first of all uh, we are going to build it from the scratch like we will be creating a simple splash screen and we will be coding it using navigator.off we will be uh, uh, navigating from one screen to another but we will also be teaching you how to create a simple uh, splash screen by using this animated splash. So first of all I will be teaching you how you can create your splash screen from the scratch like we will be creating a splash screen and we will be using navigator.off for navigating from one page to your home page. But I will also be teaching you how you can use this animated splash pub.dev package to create the animated splash screen like this you can create transitions, you can add some animations in your splash screen. So let's start coding. So first of all I have this simple new application and if I just start running it you can see a simple counter app will be appearing in front of me. So let's wait for running. So now you can see that a simple counter app is in front of me. If I just click this uh, floating action button you can see that counter is increasing. Now when this app ran I could not see any splash screen. So now I want to add a splash screen. So over here in the lib folder I am going to create one file called splash.dot. And in this first of all I am going to import material.dart and now I will create a stateless widget. Why I am creating a stateless widget? Because during this complete splash screen animation or anything transition you can say or navigation I don't want to change the state of any widget right. So whenever you define a button with that does some function then you have to define a stateful widget. But at this current state I don't want a stateful widget. That's why I have defined a stateless widget and I am going to call it splash, simple splash right. So now in the main dot dot you can see that this is my complete app and in the theme we have a simple theme data and the home I am calling the my home page. But instead of calling this home page uh, which is present over here I don't want to call a home page I want to call a splash screen. So this home takes that widget or that class which is to run at the first time when your app will be launched. So over here I am going to return splash. So let's import it and yes. So now it is imported. Now if I just go on splash and we have to start decorating it. So in this I am just writing a container but instead of returning a container I am going to return a scaffold. And in this scaffold I want to just define a simple body. I am not defining any app bar because a splash does not require an app bar. And in this body I want to return a simple container and to this container I want to give a child and to this child I will just give a simple text. So let's give a simple text and I'll call it splash screen and to this I just give a simple styling and I'll use text style and in this text style I want to use font size and I'll just increase the font size uh, to 24 and I'll also increase the font weight font weight dot bold right and if I just save it and if I just rerun it you can see that I am able to see this splash screen at the uh, top left. So I will wrap this container with my center and if I just save it, you can see that now I am able to see the splash screen at the center. Perfect. Right. So but now you can see that whenever I if I rerun this app also, this splash screen is not going. I want that after 1.5 seconds it should be gone and I should be able to see my home screen which is designed over here. You can see this home page, right. So yes. So how you can do it? So for that we have to use a simple function and that function will be present in the init state. Now what is an init state? So init state is a function that is uh, that runs uh, for the first time when your app when your class gets called right. So over here I am going to call an init state and in this init state I am going to call a simple function called navigate navigate to home. Right and to this now you can see an error. So what is it? The method init state is not defined for a super class called splash. 
So what is the difference? Why I need to uh, convert this uh, stateless widget into stateful widget? Because I'm using the init state. Now, what does this init state do? It is going to change the state according to the function that you have defined over here. So for changing the state, we require a stateful widget. That's why I'm going to convert this stateless widget into a stateful widget. Now you can see that only the error is coming that our function is not defined. So over this, over uh, below this init state, I'm going to create a function called navigate to home. And it is going to be an async function because we have to use time over here. And what is going to be the time? I'll use await future.delete. And then you have to define the duration for how much time you want to show the splash screen. So I'll write duration. And in this, I'll use milliseconds and I'll write 1500. So 1500 means 1 1.5 second, right? So after this duration, we have one more parameter that is a simple function and we don't want to write any function. So I'll just put semicolon and an empty function. Now, what after this delay? So we have got a simple delay of 1.5 seconds over here. Now, what I want to do after getting this delay, I want to navigate from this splash screen to my home screen. So I'll write navigator dot push replacement. I want to replace this splash screen. So if the user uh, even clicks on this back button, I don't want to see this splash screen, right? I want to permanently reach to my home screen. So I'll write push replacement and over here we have a context, then a new route. So what is what will be my new route? It will be material page route, material page route. And in this material page route, we have to define a builder, which is going to take a context. And to this context, we have to write the name of the class that we want to move on to. So that is going to be my home screen. Let me see the name. So it is my home page. Let me just copy it and let me just paste it over here. And then we can just import this my home page. And I'll put a simple semicolon. So it is not imported. Let me just import it again. So for the sake of simplicity, let me do one thing and I'll just go on main.dart and I'll just cut this home page from here. And I'll create a new file so that you should know where we are heading to. So I'll just call this page as home.dart and I'll import material.dart and I'll paste that class over here. So now I'll go to my splash and I'll try to import home.dart. Yes. So you can see an error, my home page. You can see that name parameter title is required. So if I just go on home.dart, you can see that it takes a parameter and that's a title, right? So we have to provide a title. So let me just go on splash and I'll provide a parameter title to it. And let me just call it GFG. And if I just save it, you can see that after 1.5 seconds, I'm headed to this home screen. So if I just rerun the app again also, you will be able to see the splash screen first. So let's wait. You can see the splash screen and you can see the uh, home page. So like this, you can also design your uh, splash screen. So let's say I want to again work on that splash screen. But you can see that after 1.5 seconds, that screen is gone. So what I can do is I can just comment this navigate to home from here so that this function should not be called. And if I just rerun it, you can see that Again, I'll be just staying over the splash screen and I can start working on it. I can just design it. Let's say I want to create a simple container of blue color over here. So I can, I can just wrap this container with a column and I can just create one more container above this container that is text container. And I'll just uh, give the height to it. Let's say I give it a uh, hundred and I give width also as hundred and I'll just give it a color colors dot blue and I'll just put a comma. So if I just save it uh, again, I have to write main axis alignment because I want to see the column at the center. So I'll write main axis alignment dot center. If I just save it, you can see and using this container, you can put an image inside this container to show your app logo, right? So this is how you can just create your own splash screen from the scratch. Now let's try to use animated splash to uh, see some animations during the navigation. So I'll just go on that animated splash uh, pub.dev package and you can see that I have to copy this uh, package name and I'll just go on my pubspec.yml and I'll just paste that in the dependencies. So below it, paste it. So try to uh, match the uh, indentation without the indentation, perfect indentation, you will get an error.
now what we have to do so if i if you will just see that documentation also you will get everything you can see that you can uh, navigate to uh, you can use an icon to show the navigation you can use a custom widget so we are interested in showing a custom widget so how you can do it you can see the documentation that you have to return a super splash screen right so it is a little blurry so i'll just show you what we are going to do so now we have added the dependency animated splash screen so i'll just click on this pub get button that is this download button and it will just import all the packages or dependencies that you have added just now so now go on main dot dart and in this instead of returning this home as splash you have to return animated splash so let's try to run animated splash screen you can see and in this splash we can just copy that splash container so i'll just come over here and i will just uh, copy this center part so i'll just copy it and i can just paste it over here now in the next screen we have to define the home page so i'll write my home page and you can give the title as gfg and if i just save it you can see this splash screen but there's an error so let's do one thing and instead of returning the center let me just return a simple icon so i'll just comment this center and let me just return a simple icon icon start home let's say and after this icon you can also define the duration so and you can also go in the documentation over here you can see that in the example section you can see that in this animated splash screen we have duration then we have splash to this splash you can create your own container or your own widget and then we have next screen we have seen the next screen we have seen the splash now let's see the duration if i just copy this only so it will be so this splash will be for 3 seconds if i just paste it and if i just rerun now you can see this uh, animated icon home and this animated splash was for 3 seconds so now if i just go on the other parameters you can see that we can also change the animation type so let's use this splash transition dot fade so let's copy these parameters only so and let's paste it over here and for now let's just comment this paste transition and let's focus on the scale transition in this video and we are getting an error so what's it so, okay so let's call, cut it out and let's paste it here only and let me just paste it we are giving the title gfg to the my home page and if i just save it let's rerun it because there was an error you can see this black blue background with the home icon and fade transition so here you can see this fade transition so this fade transition is only responsible for that fading effect for that icon so if i just cut it and you can just hit control plus space so you will be able to see the other uh, transitions also so let's see this rotation transition and if i just save it and let's rerun it you, you can see that it is rotating so this is the effect so let's use the last one that is scale transition and then we will wrap up this video and let's save it rerun it So you can see the scaling effect to this icon so like this you can create your own splash screen you can your, you can create your own custom splash screen without using this animated splash you can use this animated splash screen package from the pub.dev and add that in your dependencies in pubspec.yml so i hope that you like this video and if you have any suggestions or feedback you can do that in the comment section thank you for watching this video